fall. The leaves are falling, the temperatures are falling, our hopes and dreams are falling. Is that why they call it fall? Color ID. Look, I know that fall is almost over, but I had to get this video out because one, content, right? It's what everybody wants, content. Also, I just wanna talk about these. These four fragrances are the ones that really get me excited for this season. I can't wait for the temperatures to cool down so that I could put these on and wear them when they shine the best. Before I get into these, I wanted to say a quick welcome. I have some new subscribers here and I'm happy to have you. My name is Dr. Necktie. I'm your grooming guidance guru here at Caller ID. And here I just wanna sit back, relax, have some laughs, talk about fragrance, talk about style. So I hope you want to do the same. This list will ascend in order. So number one will be the fragrance that gets me the most excited for this season. These are four fragrances that I absolutely adore in fall. Four is Om from Dior. Now, if you've been in the fragrance game, the fragrance community for any length of time, I don't need to tell you what this is all about. But maybe you don't know what Dior Homme's all about. Well, take my hand and let me get you out from under that rock. I'm sorry, that, that was out of line. Look, Dior Homme has a polarizing nature about it. People either love it or they don't love it. They either get it or they don't. When I first smelled it, I didn't get it. And then I smelled it again. And when I smelled it again, I got it. I'm talking about the formula before the 2020 infamous rebranding of the Om line, a pathetic rebranding. That's a subject for another video. People call this original Dior Om a great all year round fragrance, and I almost see it. I think this works the least in summer, particularly hot summer days. This sings off your skin in extremely hot weather in a bad way. And I don't think that those hot temperatures do this fragrance justice. I like this when it's just starting to get cool. With a suede-like background and soft woods and herbs just in the right place. I love the blending of this. Ah, <sighs> You'll see this ranked highly in my upcoming top 10 most worn fragrances of 2020. I could go on and on and on, but I'll stop there. I have three more fragrances to get to. Three, Tobacco Oud Intense from Tom Ford, the private line. This one came at an interesting time. This was a sample I ordered about a month ago. Having learned that Tom Ford discontinued this, I wanted to try it. It sounded interesting. And I worried, I said to myself, watch, this discontinued fragrance, the sample is gonna come, I'm gonna love it, and I'll never be able to buy it. Lo and behold, this is what happened. It came at a great time. This was everything I was looking for in a fall fragrance. A little bit smoky, a little bit resinous, a little bit sweet, a little bit stanky, but still wearable. It's complex, dynamic, it does a lot of things well, and my thoughts are incomplete on this fragrance at the moment. I'm still getting to know it, but as it stands now, I love it, and my goodness, I wish it weren't discontinued. Tom Ford, if you're watching this, look at me, pay attention. Stop oversaturating your own market, dude. You release something people love and you don't even give it a chance. You put this beastly performer, such as Tobacco Oud Intense on the chopping block and throw in bitter peach. Peaches are nice, but not $350 nice. <sighs> calm thoughts, calm thoughts, calm. 
Okay, it's beautiful in fall, and I think it'll be great in winter too. Man, if I could find a full bottle of this somewhere, someday, from a reseller for a good price, I just might have to pull the trigger. Two, the Scent Intense from Hugo Boss. The handful of my day one followers know that I love this scent to death. It's this fat, rubbery, delicious vanilla. And up top at the opening, an invigorating ginger with some citrus and herbs. And of course that maninka fruit, the distinct fruity chocolatey tandem that the maninka creates. At the mainstream designer tier, this checks all the boxes for me in fall. Powerful, far projecting. It is a bit surprising for a designer release. You don't expect that kind of complexity at that price point. Hugo Boss hit the scent intense out of the park in 2017. Lovely. I've got my full review right there. Click up in the cards and watch it. But as lovely as the scent intense is for me during fall, this number one spot is a bit surprising for me, but I really had to take a step back and be honest with myself and think which scent has done the, the one that's done the most magnificent job of pulling me in and having me yearn to wear it when the temperatures cool down and the leaves fall off the trees. What do I want to smell like and fall the most? Number one, Acad from Lubon. No, not Acad, fish, Acad. This must be smelled to be believed. What a beautiful, I struggle to find the words for this just because it is perfect. Not only is it perfect for the fall season, it's perfect period. From the performance to the ingredients to the blending of those ingredients, a cod is head and shoulders above the other fragrances on this list. That is a strong statement, I know. I love Dior Homme to death, and I love the scent intense, and Tobacco Oud Intense, yes, it has quickly won me over this year, in this season. But man, Lubon knows what they're doing. A fan favorite from this house is the, the mysterious, caramel, whimsical Corrigan. That's the name. People love Corrigan. That one did not resonate with me as much. But Akkad is the one that really grabbed my attention. It's a gorgeous barrel-aged amber. If you love amber, you'll love this. But even if you don't, this amber is executed such that it falls in the background. And the other fragrances do a great job at accentuating it, yet not overpowering it. Akkad falls under the Oriental category. So you can expect the Oriental hallmarks. Strong spices, resins, woods, and this is captivating. This cuts the mainstream sweetness you find in many designer fragrances. Gets to this dry, spicy, deep yet airy atmosphere. When I first smelled this, the opening reminded me of root beer. It has that fizzy quality. That's really exciting. The heart settles down into that dry woodiness and through the life cycle of a cod, you get that barrel aged amber that I mentioned a moment ago. Stunning, just stunning. It's reminiscent of a fine whiskey aged 12 years in an oak cask. Yet, a cod stays out of the boozy territory. It's clear within the lines of an oriental fragrance, but it does these little things that are subtle and keeps your attention all the way through, all through the hours. On me, the projection is perfect. 
It extends just beyond my personal bubble to where if I were talking to someone, they would get to smell it and enjoy it. That is a perfect distance for me. The scent cloud just settles ever so slowly into you throughout the hours. Come bedtime, you can still dig in your wrist, get the lovely whiffs of it. And at the price, this is a steal. Let me tell you something. This is at the top of my next bottles to buy. I've got to have this. I'll enjoy it to its fullest in fall. I'll enjoy it deep into the winter. And as spring is still finding its way into warmth, I could see myself wearing a cod. No question. These fragrances are my olfactive sanctuary. These four lovely scents. Which fragrances do you like to wear in fall or have you been wearing in fall? I'd love to know. Let me know in the comments. The phone lines are open. I'm Dr. Necktie. I'm here, your hotline, for men's styling tips and grooming guidance. I'll talk to you soon. Color ID.